you are who you are because that's how you've always been and that's how you are. And people can either take you as you are or not be part of your world. What a bunch of BS. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me at SaveYourMarriageBootCamp.com. It's not a fact that who you've always been is a determining factor for who you actually are and how you're going to live in the next moment of your life. Think of a snow time and everything's covered with snow and you go out tracking in the snow and you look back, you see where you've been, but does that mean that where you've been is going to determine what path, which direction you're going to take for your next step? Of course not. And so it is in your life and in your relationships. And if you're unhappy with the way your relationship is, if you're really struggling to make your relationship work, I have a big surprise for you. Stop the struggling. Stop allowing things to happen automatically because you are not the sum of your past experiences. Those are playing subconsciously for you and things in your environment trigger those programs and you can become aware of the little voices that are not who you are. So if you take action Tuesday, pay attention to what's happening in the present moment. Instead of allowing yourself to react without thinking, allow yourself to survey the situation and to be in a stillness where you can access the many possible paths that you can now take that will lead you someplace you've never been. It's called going with the flow. And that is how you heal your relationship. I will see you here next week. And why don't you go on over here, wait, over here, and tell us exactly what you're going to do differently. Because you really do want to save your marriage. You really do want a partnership that works. <laughs> you got to be you and not who you think you are and not who other people think you are because that's not who you are.